You recall we said adjusting entries are made on the last day of the accounting period. Because of the matching principle, we want to match our expenses with the revenues they help generate. We said some always rules. An adjusting entry will always either debit what type of an account, an expense, or credit what type of an account, a revenue. That's a guarantee. Every adjusting entry either debits the expense or credits the revenue. The other side of that entry is always a balance sheet account an asset or a liability, although there is one new one we're going to introduce today also. What an adjusting entry never affects one account. What is it? Cash. cash. Never affects cash. Let's move on and talk about our first type of adjusting entry here, which is dealing with um, prepaid or deferred expenses. This situation is where I have paid for something in advance and I haven't used it up yet. Pay for something in advance, I haven't used it up right away. The most common examples are my supplies. I could have prepaid rent and I could have prepaid insurance are the ones we see most often. Now you remember, we've said this before, when we buy these items, they are an asset to us. They will become expense to us when we do what? Use them up, use them up. They are an asset when we buy them, they become an expense whenever we use them up. Well, if you think of something like supplies, most every day I'm gonna use up a little bit of supplies. All right. I'm not going to stop each day and make an entry to record what I used up that day. Instead, I'm going to wait till the end of the accounting period and make one entry for everything that I have used up during the period. Now, when we're talking about these items, we're first off going to talk about these prepaids and supplies, and then we're going to talk about another unique item called depreciation, which really is dealing with this same type item, but it's just a little bit unique. So. Remember I told you we really have four types of adjusting entries, but one has a spinoff. So I call it four and a half adjusting entries. So this little spinoff is the one called depreciation. We'll get to it in a minute though. When we buy the item, be it prepaid rent, prepaid insurance, or buy the supplies, we're gonna debit the asset account and we're gonna credit cash or perhaps accounts payable. At the end of the period, we're going to determine how much we have used up, used up. Let's just use supplies for an example. When I use up supplies, what do I have less of? Okay. Supplies, part of them are gone, I use them up. Supplies is an asset and it's going down. Assets go down with a credit. When we use up an asset, it becomes what to me? An expense. So what do I have more of? Supplies expense, which is an expense. It's going up then with a debit. So here is my first adjusting entry. It is going to be a debit to an expense and a credit to an asset. Debit to an expense and credit to an asset. Where is that on your handout? Page six. If I were you, I would highlight that entry really big, put a star by it or highlight it or something because that is our first adjusting entry that we need to learn then. We have $100 in supplies to start the year off. That's what's left from the previous year. We buy $200 of supplies on June 15th. All right, first off, I want you to make the entry on June 15th when I buy the supplies and I pay cash for them. What do I bore off? Supplies is an asset and it's going up with a debit. What do I have less of? Cash is an asset and it's going down with a credit then. Now this is not an adjusting entry. This is chapter two, okay? This is chapter two. We're gonna debit supplies to make the asset go up. We're gonna credit cash to make the asset go down. Not an adjusting entry, plain old chapter two entry, all right? Well, after I make this entry, what is the balance in my supplies account? Yeah, we had 100 and then we put another 200 in there. So now we have a $300 balance, do we agree? All right, December 31st rolls around. We go out there and count and we have $90 of supplies left. I had 300, but there's only 90 left. What must have happened? I used up some. How much did I use up? Well, it must have been 210. If I had 300 and there's only 90 left, I must have used up $210 of supplies. That's what I'm gonna make my adjusting entry for is what I have used up. Thank you, $210 of supplies. All right, what do I have less of? I have less supplies, which is what type of an account? An asset, less of it says it's going down. How do we make an asset go down then with a credit? When I use up an asset, what does it become to me? An expense, so what do I have more of? I have more supplies expense, which is what type of an account? An expense, more of it says it goes up, and expenses go up how then? With a debit. So my adjusting entry then would be a debit to supplies expense and a credit to supplies. All right, below that I've given you a T account. Now we talked about T accounts at the beginning of chapter two, and then I came back and said, well, we really don't use T accounts in the real world, don't, didn't I? 
I said instead we use the general ledger, which has a separate page for each account, and it's very much like a T account, but it's where we also have a running balance. In other words, after each entry, we figure the balance. Sometimes in class, I'm still going to draw a really quick T account so we can calculate quickly the balance in an account. It's just a quick tool for us. So let's see what the balance is in supplies. I had $100 to begin with, didn't I? And then that very first journal entry that I recorded, it did what to the supplies account? Debited for $200, right? So at that moment, I had, what, $300 in supplies? How about in the adjusting entry? What did I do to the supplies account in the adjusting entry? I credited it for, what, $210? So what balance right now do I have in the supplies account? $90. Does that sound familiar? Where did we see that number before? Okay, I told you that's what we had left, didn't I? I said at the end of the period, we had $90 of supplies left. So if I've made my entries correct, the amount that's left in the supplies account after the adjusting entry is recorded should reflect what we actually have left <coughs> in there. So the ending balance in supplies is gonna be 90. The ending balance in supplies expense is simply the 210. But notice 90 plus 210 equals $300. We had $300 supplies in total during the period. It ended up one of two places. If I used it up, it became an expense. If I didn't use it up and I still have it left, it stays on my books as an asset. Now this next part right here is not on your handout right now, but it will be on there later on. But let me just mention the way I gave that last example to you was we had $300 of supplies and I told you we had $90 left. We needed to make the entry for how much we have used up. If they tell you what's left, you have to subtract to see how much you have used up. Now, another way that could have been given to you is I could have simply said, we used up $210 of supplies. If I tell you how much we've used up, well, that's the number you use. If I tell you how much is left at the end of the period, that's when you've got to subtract it from what you had in hand. So you want your entry to be for what you've used up. If they tell you what you've used up, say thank you, that's the number you <coughs> needed. If they tell you how much is left, you have to subtract to see how much you used up. Okay, another example. We buy a two-year insurance policy, $240 on November 1st. Coverage mm -hmm. begins immediately. And the accounting period is for the year that ends on December 31st. I want you to make the entry first for me on November 1st, please. When we, whenever we buy the two-year insurance policy. Record that journal entry for me, please. What's your debit? Prepaid insurance, good. Why was it prepaid insurance and not insurance expense? Well, you ask yourself the question, by the end of the accounting period, will I have used it all up? My accounting period ends on December 31st. By December 31st, will I have used up all of this amount? No, therefore I say I have more of the asset, the prepaid insurance. What if I had just paid one month's worth of insurance? What would be different about this entry? It'd be the expense, the insurance expense, because by the end of the accounting period, I will have used it all up. But if I'm not going to use it all up by the end of the accounting period, we call it prepaid insurance. And since I paid it, I'm going to credit cash. Now, that is not an adjusting entry. That's a Chapter 2 entry, just a plain old entry. December 31st rolls around. Have I used up any of that insurance policy yet? Yes. How many months worth? Two. Very good. When's the first month I used up? November and December. Good. The only way you get that right is to get your fingers out and count. That's because it began on November 1st. What if the policy had begun on November 30th? Then as of December 31st, I would have used up just one month. All right, so as of December 31st, I've used up two months. I've used up the month of November and December. Count on your fingers is the way to get it right. I know that sounds silly, but it is the difference in getting it right and getting it wrong. And if you need to go to your toes, you, you might have to also. All right, $240 covered two years or 24 months. So my policy was how much per month? $10. And I've used up two months. 10 times two says how much in total then have I used up? $20 of my insurance. Okay, so I've used up two months. It cost me $20. That's what we're going to make our adjusting entry for, the $20 that I have now used up. What do I have less of? Prepaid insurance. I have used up two months of that policy. Good. I have less prepaid insurance. What type of an account is prepaid insurance? An asset. Less of it says it goes down. How do you make an asset go down? With a credit. When I use up prepaid insurance, what does it become to me? An expense. So what do I have more of? Insurance expense. What type of an account is insurance expense? 
It's an expense. More of it says it goes up. How do you make an expense go up? With a debit. Good. So we have decided to credit prepaid insurance and to debit insurance <coughs> expense. Which will we write on the first line of the journal? The debit to insurance expense, because debits are always listed before credits. Notice the amount of that entry was for the two months that I have used up. In a homework problem, they might simply tell you that $20 of insurance has expired, is their word for used up? Expired is used up. They make up another word. I don't know if it's a real word. Unexpired. Is that a real word? I don't know. Anyway, that's what they call what has not been used up. Okay, so expired is used up. Unexpired is what's left, what's not used up. All right, let's go down and look at that T account, this time for prepaid insurance. My first entry was what, a debit of $240 for prepaid insurance? And then what did I do to that account in the adjusting entry? I credited it for $20, right? Leaving me right now a debit balance of $220, would you agree? Now remember my insurance was $10 a month. So $220 would represent how many months of insurance that are left? 22. The ending balance in insurance expense was $20, which represented how many months? Two. So notice, I paid for 24 months worth of insurance in advance. That insurance went to one of two places. If I used it up, it became an expense to me. If I didn't use it up and I still have it in hand, it stays on my books as an asset. The amount of my entry is how much I've used up. Next one, we pay our rent $7,200. We're going to pay it on May 31st. We're going to move in on June 1st. And we're going to make our adjusting entry on December 31st. How about whenever I um, paid that rent in advance? What did I debit? <coughs> Prepaid rent. Why to make the asset go up? And what did I credit? <laughs> Cash. Why to make that asset go yeah. down? And the reason it was prepaid and not an expense is you ask yourself the question, by the end of the accounting period, will I have used it all up? In this case, I will not have used it all up by December 31st, therefore it is prepaid. December 31st rolls around. How many months have I used up? When did they move in? June 1st. So we've used up June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Seven months. All right, count on your fingers. If you try to do it in your head, usually you're going to get the wrong answer. So we've used up seven months, June through December. Well, $7,200 covered a year, which would be $600 per month. We have used up seven of those months. It says in total, we have now used up $4,200 of that prepaid rent. What do I have less of? Prepaid rent. Part of it's gone. I used it up. Prepaid rent's an asset. Less of it says it goes down. Assets go down with a... And what do I have more of now? Rent expense, because when I use up an asset, it becomes an expense to me. Rent expense is an expense. It's going up. Expenses go up with a debit. So in my adjusting entry, I will debit rent expense, and I will credit prepaid rent. The amount of that entry is how much I have used up, the 4200 then that I have used up. Again, I've given you a T account at the bottom. Let's look and see how much we have left in my prepaid rent account. The original entry to prepaid rent was a debit for what, 7,200? The adjusting entry was a credit for 4,200. So right now, what is the balance in my prepaid rent? 3,000. $600 per month, that would say that right now we have five months rent left in prepaid rent. What's the balance in rent expense? The 4,200, which represented seven months rent. So notice we paid 12 months rent in advance. The part that I used up became rent expense to me. The part that I did not use up that I still have left remains on my books as the balance in prepaid rent. When will that $3,000 become an expense to me? Next year. Next year when I use it up next year. And this really recaps what I just said. When I pay for something in advance before I use it up, once we use it up, it becomes an expense to me. The portion I have not yet used up stays in my books as an asset.